Hey everyone, Brenton Geeser here of Be Social Change and doing this video series on behalf of the Young Entrepreneur Council. And what this video series is about is how to build a killer startup team. And as entrepreneurs, we all know that we can't do it alone. We need other people to contribute to what we're building and what our vision is to really actually put this into the real world. So me as a young entrepreneur, I've had my successes, my failures in building startup teams, and I'm also maintaining teams right now with vibrant cultures and great energy and really aligned teams that believe in our vision and that execute based on that vision. And I've noticed that this is actually one of the most important things when building a startup and being an entrepreneur. So I want to share that with you guys. So today for video number one, I want to talk about some foundational elements, some general things you do need to know, but really need to know from a core foundation when building a startup team. And those three things are how to network, how to use leverage to build a team, and lastly, but most importantly, really how to cast your vision and own that vision. So first thing, how to network. Your network is your biggest asset when building a startup team. And networking really happens all the time. With all the tools we have now, really whatever persona, whatever personal brand you're putting out there is networking. You're attracting the same people back, hopefully, if you're doing a good job of representing yourself online and offline as well. So one thing to really understand is your network is key. Tap into your network you have now. Ask people what they're doing now. Ask people if they know anybody that may be interested in your opportunity. But a big thing, you gotta expand your network. If you're building a startup in the social media space, you're gonna want to join groups online, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, uh, meetups in your area. If you're in San Francisco like I am, you're probably very lucky because you could actually find those groups all the time meeting and really dig into that network and find people and add value to those people and see what they're doing, right? Just be curious and explore. Um, the second thing is leverage. And as entrepreneurs, we all know you need leverage to succeed. Leverage in a bunch of different areas. But when hiring, leverage is very, very important as well, especially when you're starting a new company because you don't have much to leverage at that point. You probably don't have a big brand name. You probably don't have big time investors. You might not even have big time talent, but you got a big time vision potentially, right? So what can you do to leverage that vision, leverage yourself in order to get the right people on board? So it's about presentation. It's how, how you present yourself. What successes have you had on the past that are not kind of guarantee, but really ramp up your uh, percentage to actually be successful, right? That's what people want to see. People want to see people with strong visions, but people also want to feel that you could execute on what you're saying. So present that in the right light, right light. Get a prototype out there soon so people could play with that and really see um, what this is and how this is going to be executed in the real world. Uh, those are points of leverage you could use to build a team. And last thing, but most importantly, is vision and how to cast that vision towards other people and also how to hone that vision to make it very, very strong and easy to articulate. So first things first, how to really hone in on, on that vision. You need to understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, and really what your value proposition is. People need to be able to consume this really quickly and really dig into it um, and actually have them feel it. You want them to feel your vision and understand it. So that is a really, really big thing. How do you convey that to them? What do you show them? What do you say? I like short, sweet, and powerful. If you could condense in like that and know exactly what your vision is, that's going to actually really up your chances to finding the right people. And um, last thing is share that vision. Share it. Spread it. I know a lot of people are concerned about intellectual property and all that. But I've learned that the more you hold back, the slower you're going to move. And it's great to share. You never know who you're going to share with. Somebody may know somebody that you need to link up with and they need to link up with you. So share freely, share openly, share what you feel comfortable with, but make sure to cast that vision outward and attract the right people in. So those are three foundational items to actually start you on your way to building that killer startup team. Uh, once again, I'm Brenton from Be Social Change. I will be coming back to giving you more practical advice on how to build that killer startup team. So stick right here and let me know any tips, comments, feedback, whatever you guys have for me and whatever you guys want to hear, let me know. I'm very interested in what you guys want to be learning. 
and I would love to actually share that with you. Thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate it.